Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello students, subscribers, and viewers. There is another sample problem video in calculus, particularly on derivative as velocity, instantaneous velocity. If you want to anticipate the solution to this problem, then you may do so by pausing the video and answering the problems without looking at the presented solutions here. If an arrow is shot upward on the moon with a velocity of 58 meters per second, its height in meters after t seconds is given by h equals 58, 58 t minus 0.83 t square. Find the average velocity over the given time intervals. Uh, 1 comma 2, then 1 comma 1.5, so t is 1 to t is 2, 1 to 1.5, t is 1 to 1.1, t is 1 to 1.01, and t is 1 to 1.001, so this is the closest time to 1. Then find the instantaneous velocity after 1 second. So the average velocity is equal to delta h over delta t. And delta H is the height when the time is, in this case, 2. Then the height minus the time is 1 for part I. So A point I, V average equals delta H over delta T. And again, delta H is the value of H when T is 2 minus the value of H when T is 1. So we just substitute it into this formula here and... Delta T is the difference of these time periods or time intervals. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So for the second part, 1.5 minus 1 is 0.5. Third part, 1.1 minus 1 is 0.1. Fourth part, 1.01 minus 1 is 0.01. And for the fifth part, 1.001 minus 1 is 0.001. So substitute, we have quantity 58 times 2 minus 0.83 2 square minus quantity 58 times 1 minus 0.83 times 1 square divided by 2 minus 1. So using your calculator there, the average velocity for this time interval is 55.55 meters per second. For A.2, so V average is equal to delta H over delta T. So it is equal to quantity 58 times 1.5 minus 0.83 times 1.5 square minus the quantity 58 times 1 minus 0.83 times 1 square over 1.5 minus 1. So again, use computing using your calculator. We have 55.925 meters per second. So for A.3, uh, del the average equals delta H over delta T as delta T approaches or delta T is 1.1 minus 1 in this case. So we have quantity 58 times 1.1 minus 0.83 times 1.1 square minus quantity 58 times 1 minus 0.83 times 1 square over 1.1 minus 1. So the HDT or the average velocity for that case is 56.257 meters per second. Then A.4, the average is delta H over delta T. So it is equal to 58 times 1.01 minus 58 times 1.01 minus 0.83 times 1.01 square minus quantity 58 times 1 minus 0.83 times 1 square over 1.01 minus 1. So average velocity for this time interval is 56.3317 meters per second. Then lastly, A.5, average velocity delta H 
delta t. So equals quantity 58 times 1.001 minus 0.83 times 1.001 square minus quantity 58 times 1 minus 0.83 times 1 square over 1.001 minus 1. So the average velocity, so this is close to the instantaneous velocity. It is equal to 56.33917 meters per second. Then for part B, the instantaneous velocity, so let's evaluate the limit of delta H over delta T as delta T approaches zero. So V is dH dt and it is equal to the limit of delta H over delta T as delta T approaches zero. So H plus delta H equals 58 times quantity T plus delta T minus 0.83 times quantity T plus delta T square. So delta H is equal to 58T plus 58 delta T minus 0.83 quantity T square plus 2T delta T plus delta T square minus, point, minus quantity 58T minus 0.83T square, which is H. So we can eliminate 58T and negative 0.83T square because we have 0.83t square also. So delta H is 58 delta T minus 1.66t delta T, then point minus 0.83 times delta T square. Dividing both sides by delta T, so delta H over delta T is 58 minus 1.66t minus 0.83 times delta T. So dH dt, which is the limit of this remaining terms as delta t approaches zero is 58 minus 1.66 t because this term here is zero or approaching zero. So substitute t is one. So the instantaneous velocity is 58 minus 1.66. So the instantaneous velocity is 56.3. 34 meters per second when t is 1. So that's it for this video. I hope that you were able to understand the explanations and the solutions to this problem. Thereby, you will have your own problems in the future. You may encounter the same problems in the future.